Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Old West Fishing. And if I look exhausted and tired, that's because I am. Uh, this is August unboxing of the MTB or Carl's Tackle Shop or whatever they're calling themselves, their company. Uh, the Elite Boxing of Mr. Tackle Box. And I'm going to break down everything inside. I'm going to tell you all these cool different facts. It's like 10.30, I just got off work and I'm exhausted. So let's get into the video. So let's get into this. I already got the box cut open, and boom, the first thing you see in the Mr. Tackle box is clearly this awesome little sticker, Catchco of the Great Lakes. I don't know, that would look pretty good on my laptop. And then, uh, of course, this is my going to be my cheat sheet. It's going to tell you everything inside, and if you just want to take a pause of that real quick, that's going to be all the things in the box. First, we're going to have um, these Owner uh, Wide Gap Plus 2 watt uh, flipping hooks. So, I mean, these are good quality. Let's cut them open and see what we got. Of course, I got my trusty unboxing knife. Not overkill at all. Got that thing open and dump them out. And these are two odd, so they're a little small, but again, about oh, well, it's a two odd hook, y'all know. But um, I mean, they feel pretty sturdy. Do they? Don't have a lot of flex in them. Uh, sticky sharp. Apparently, they have some form of special cut in the hook, where I don't know if you can see it, but they kind of demonstrated on the packet that it's specially cut where it cuts in better I suppose next we're gonna have let's see this is a Bagley balsa shad 0.02 it's cracked there we go much easier I really hate these boxes that are like that, that are such a pain in the butt to open. So yeah, like I said, it's a Bagley Balsa. So this is a Balsa Wood Crankbait. The hooks are okay. They're not great. But uh, what I'm really surprised about is how beautiful that paint job on that is. It's obviously supposed to be mimicking like a crawdad or something. Let's see if they give it a, an exact color. Um, no, it doesn't look like it unless it's on this part that I just sliced off. Uh, nope, it just says balsa shad, and I guess they're supposed to let you consider it from the rest. Alright, so that's the balsa shad by Bagley. Alright, next in my special box is going to be the... Dobbins spinnerbait half half ounce. So let's see, hand tied skill, silicone shirt skirt, um, custom head design. Yeah, let's get this bad boy open. Now I love throwing me some uh, obviously I need to sharpen my unboxing knife. Yeah. If anything knows anything about me, nothing pisses me off more than tough packaging. Okay, so we obviously have some painted white willow blade with, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Dobbins on the blade there, and also right there. And then we have hand-tied silicone skirt, and a plastic keeper, the trailer, your, your uh, spinnerbait. And the hook is pretty sharp. That's actually, ow, that's really good. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, it's a spinnerbait. I, light wire. I mean, it's a spinnerbait. I mean, it's a very, it's a nice spinnerbait. Uh, what are they retailing this for? They are really retailing this for $7.99. So, yeah, this is, this is, I would say this is worth the retail price of that. Um, the skirt, they're kind of making a big deal out of it, but, I mean, sure, 
it's a it's a nice spinner bait. Yep, the Dobbins spinner bait by by Dobbins. All right, and the next is gonna be the oh boy, oh that's this is this one's a doozy. So this is a Yuziri, some kind of Japanese uh, crankbait. Let's just get this right out of the way and crack that bad boy open. Come on, I'll be. Okay, so apparently they don't want you to fish their lure because you can't get into it. There we go. Just that easy. And put on this little thing that's supposed to be a pain in the ass. That's fine. Okay, now that I'm impressed because that is really beautiful. Hooks are sticky sharp, really good hooks. Much better than the Bagley uh, deep diving crankbait that they send. So, which is kind of interesting. So they sent the Bagley, and then they have this Yaziri, Yaziri, and this one has texture on the on the stomach, or on the bottom, I don't know if you'd call it the stomach. They're both crawdad uh, colored, and uh, top view, side view, now obviously this is a deeper diving, this is a square bill, and to compare these two, so the Dobbins, oh, I'm sorry, the uh, the Bagley is $8.99, and then the, hmm, the Dobbin, no, sorry, the Yuziri is $10.99, so I would definitely pay the extra buck for this club. And I don't, I don't have a boat, and so there's really no way I can even fish this deep diving son of a gun. So yeah, this is by far, so far, is definitely winning the box for me. All right, next in my box, let's. Oh my God, uh, this is a giant whopper plopper. If you guys watched my last video, you know I also got a whopper plopper in my, in the box. That's weird that they would send back-to-back -back whopper ploppers. But this one's ginormous. Let's see, there's a special little sticker on that. Let's see what this is. Uh, new version, super strong BN hook. And this is a silent whopper plopper. So, let's see. It's really big. I would probably have nowhere to throw this here in Nebraska. The hooks are sticky sharp. Those are nice. Um, let's see if it says what pattern it is. What they would call this. Nope. Just, uh, I don't know, a bait fish style. But the thing I'm most blown away is how heavy duty these hooks are. These are really nice. So I guess it is a new and improved uh, whopper plopper. The tail is still that that stiffer soft plastic, if that makes any sense. Stif stiffer soft plastic. But yeah, I mean it's a whopper plopper. Everybody knows what a whopper plopper is. Uh, obviously a top water. So uh, yeah, I mean they're retailing this bad boy for. Seventeen bucks, and now I the Whopper Ploppers are nice and everything, but I don't think I would ever spend uh, my hard-earned money for that much of a lure. I mean, I have some more expensive lures, but I've never really had great success with a Whopper Plopper. Maybe it's just the ponds and lakes that I fish at. But uh, yeah, the Whopper Plopper by River to Sea. Next, we're going to move on to the hard baits. So these are Missile Baits Crawfather. So, pop these bad boys open, and, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a craw, you know, it's okay, I'm not really blown away with this, just by looking at it, I mean, no, it's not scented, it's just a, I mean, it would make a good jig trailer, I suppose, but nothing super fantastic about it, it's retailing for the whole bag, is gonna be... 
uh, four bucks, three ninety nine, and so yeah, uh, there it's okay. I don't. I think it's kind of a cheaply made. Pla like the plastic feels durable and everything, but I think the the mold itself looks pretty cheap. I've seen much better from from uh, missile baits, so I'm not too blown away from by this. All right, next we got big bite baits. Another crawdad looks like uh, oh, maybe it's not a frog. It's a Roja's fighting frog. Whatever. Big by bait, you have to tear it open. Okay, so hmm. that's interesting. So I don't know if you can see that, but that is like the deepest, like hook, you know, insert that I've ever seen. That's really interesting, but it. They're calling it a frog, but I would never like I would never call this a buzz frog or like a like a soft water top water frog. Um it almost reminds me more of a uh um like a brush hog style, like a creature bait style. Uh almost to like what they sent me last month with the uh uh missile baits uh um eliminator craw. So that's I mean it's I mean it looks nice it's good plastic and everything the, there's tons of ridges all over it I've, that's just kind of weird I've never seen that deep of a hook recess before so yeah that's the uh, so it's more of like a purple on the stomach and then a lighter blue on the back so yeah that is the um, that is the fighting frog by Big White Bates right. and then next and last is kind of interesting. This is Big O's Game Changer Lures Eliminator. Let's see what this guy's all about. So it comes in a. Oh my god, I can. Oh god, that's horrible scent. Oh my god. That's so strong. That's like that's like Lake Fort Tackle lure strong smell, but not garlic, it's like squid or like rotten fish or something. God, I don't even want to touch one of these. So uh Game Changer Lure, huh? I mean, what is it supposed to even be maybe like a like a trailer for uh Okay, let's see what it says on the back. Uh, when he's not wrecking biggins on Falcon Lake or whooping blank in karate tournaments, Steve-O Parks designs fishing lures after creating some of the hottest baits and making... Da -da -da -da. I mean, they're not really suggesting on how to throw it. I guess it would make a good, like, uh, chatter bait, swim bait, uh, spinner bait. I, you know what? Yeah, I would probably throw this on like a on like a spinner bait or not a spinner bait. I'm sorry, uh, a buzz bait. That would be a good lure, uh, good trailer for that. But oh my god, this smells so bad. Uh, these are going right back in the back because I cannot stand that smell and I don't want it to pollute my room. So yeah, I mean, they're, it's an interesting design. I've never seen anything like that. The, they're all, you know, straight, so in that nice bubble packaging. So, uh, I mean, they're nice. Uh, I just don't know what I would throw with those. And, uh, yeah, that's the Eliminator by Big O Game Changer Lures. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the video today. Quick, easy, and simple. Sorry for the lack of uh, energy in my voice. I'm just extremely tired. Um, overall, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed with the box. I'm not being negative, as everybody knows, I'm a huge Mystery Tackle Box fan. I've been subscribed to them for months, or for, yeah, obviously months I've, I've been subscribed. And for their competitors, uh, Lucky Tackle Box, I've, 
don't think there are any competition. I've always been a fan of Mystery Tackle Box by far. And so, with that being said, this was kind of a lackluster box. Um, there's only really two things I would actually throw out of this box that cost me $40. Um, and again, this isn't sponsored by uh, Mystery Tackle Box, Catch Co., uh, Carl's bait and tackle, whatever they're calling their company. Um, I love their product nine times out of ten. Uh, but this this uh, box is kind of so-so for me this this month, and I was a little disappointed. But uh, I would, but definitely the winners would be the I the Zuri uh, crankbait and the the chat or the spinner bait. Those are the, and maybe the Whopper Plopper, if I gave, you know, it's just, it's, the Whopper Plopper is just huge that they sent me. It's just ginormous. And, obviously, this Whopper Plopper is just huge, and the plastics didn't blow me out of the water. Uh, I mean, I, I'm a, and again, I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm a huge fan of Lake Fort Tackle. They're, all their line, their, their, um, it's escaping my thought. Uh, the the uh, hyper stick and the hyper worm and stuff like that, and their hi their flapper crawls and all that. I am a he that's basically all the plastics I use. If I if you guys want me oh by the way I have a new bag now. So if you guys want me to go through that bag and tell you everything I have in there, I would be more than willing to do that. Uh, I mean like in the comment or. Like the video, comment if you'd like to see that. But uh, like I said, I love the box, and I always have. But this one was just kind of lackluster, and I, it kind of wasn't worth the forty dollars I spent. But I would love to see this more tailored to my area, because this maybe if I had a boat, there could be a couple places I could throw that. But uh, overall, like. Most of the bass are normal hard like this size, and I just really don't know what to say about that. Um, but yeah, that's not a knock on them. I'm sure like all of the things that they sent me are high quality, extremely good, extremely good quality. So that's not a knock on them that they're just trying to sell out, you know, bad product. That's not that at all. It's just uh, I've seen much better from them, and uh, I've come to expect much better than from them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I will continue to subscribe as long. Uh, I will continue to so subscribe to their, to their boxes, and I love the boxes. Last uh, last month rocked, and I've caught a lot of fish off the park that they sent me. Um, but uh, I'm sure that this month uh, is just a fluke that it didn't impress me. But yeah, this this uh, the Suzuri square bill is definitely by far my favorite. Uh, so yeah, if you'd like to see more of these, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And again, this is Chris uh, with Old West Fishing, signing off.